Welcome fellow gaming fanatics, it's my time here, this is WWE Supercard and I believe this is going to be episode 9 and before we go any further, just one going into the game, I want to give a big shout out to Azrael Great Dragon and also he's sidekick in some of his recent videos, Sorel, um, he has been doing quite a lot of content on WWE Supercard and NHL Supercard, he also did a video on Walking Dead, now I have played that game, I still have it, um, uh, quite a bit further in than his at the moment because he was just trying it out but I never done any videos because I wasn't too sure if people would want to see it uh, I have started playing a few other games as well just getting past the tutorials and playing like a level or two into them if any of them I think are quite good I will bring them up on here like he's trying to do you know change the content and bring some new games in I've also got an idea to bring something else onto the channel which I'm going to wait for a bit but maybe in the next week or two it will come up, so I won't give any spoilers yet, but look out for that. But yeah, he's, he's a great guy. He does um, some long videos as well as short videos. You know, he, he uploads regularly, uh, literally every day, pretty much. And he's he's really really supportive of all the other people out there doing this kind of stuff. All the other people doing super card videos and that. You know, he gives them shouts out, and you know, he encourages people too go and check their content to help the community grow so i do doing exactly the same here so good luck on your dude uh, good luck in your deck he's another person that plays without buying loads of packs he has bought a couple like myself coming into the survivor tier trying to take advantage of a few of the promotions but generally he plays you can see by the number of games he's played same in his nhl supercar videos you can tell that he puts time in on the game which is why he has managed to get to where he is so Good luck to you and also good luck to Zarel. I think she's just started doing um, some videos and stuff now. I don't know if she used to do them before, but if you check them both out, I'm going to leave a description in the box below and it would be awesome if you could. And also subscribe to them if you like and enjoy their content. Now, I'm just going to come down quickly before we go into the PCC. You will notice 5 and 9 here in this King of the Ring because it's my first Survivor King of the Ring. Now, I'm not expecting to get anywhere. Quarterfinals would be great. That's the best I can hope for, really. And that's pretty much the same as just running a legendary King of the Ring. So, I'll just show you my team. There is a slight reason why I'm not doing this well. First of all, I messed up because I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have this Nikki Bella in here. I should instead have my Naomi, which will make Naomi compatible with Cameron and with my Nikki Bella um, legendary, which would obviously then mean that... I had a compatible Divas tag and I could mix it around. Unfortunately, I don't have the compatibility at the moment. Now, a couple of other people here. Mark Henry is still in training. Um, the Rock, I've just got, just pro put him in here. I waited to start the Survivor um, King Ring once I'd made these guys pros. So he still needs some training, uh, still needs to finish his points up. Same with Cameron. She can still go up to level 25, haven't added her tokens yet just uh, starting to train her out so my team will get better as this in you know just goes through the um, through the motions of the games but it's not going to be good enough that I'm gonna win it or anything but if I could get to the quarterfinals that would be that would be good now what I did do was and I would admit so I did try to take advantage of what I thought was going to be a legendary pack at its half price and it wasn't it was just 10% off so I put some credits on credits I shouldn't have really put on and I was pretty disappointed and pretty annoyed so I've done it bash my way through got two Seamuses when we've got Seamus as the end of month reward for your login bonus I was like awesome just great I just really need two of you guys now don't I I got a John Cena and as you may notice here I got a Bret Hart so I got a Bret Hart not only from my ring domination but also from the pack so it kind of eased the pain so he will be my first survivor pro now he's in the process of being improved as you can see here um, I've decided with his tokens to kind of balance him out now I don't like the idea well personally when you go to add your token, sometimes you will see plus 17 plus 18 because it will depend some stats you'll get a bigger bonus than others now I haven't been a great fan in the past of putting the tokens somewhere where they're not going to give you as many 
um, ability points. So, for example, I wouldn't put the tokens on the plus 17s. Um, if I was going to do that, I'd wait till they were proed and say they were all, say, plus 9s, and then I'd add them onto that stat. But you're going to get a bigger boost doing it in, on the single versions. So, like here, I've decided to put one on everything because he's going to proc in toughness and charisma. And if you notice, it's hard to tell you because obviously not all his um, all his stats are uh, maxed out. But he's already got pretty good base charisma. Uh, his toughness isn't bad, and his speed and power, you know, aren't good, but they're not terrible. So then we're going to the second card and kind of doing the same. This time I've decided to um, boost his toughness a bit because I don't have many good toughness cards. Put one on his power and charisma and leave his speed because his speed is going to fall behind. But if I want to catch that up, I will catch that up once I've proed him. So in the past, I would have just literally focused on the toughness and the charisma because they give him the biggest boost. And then once he's proed, maybe boost the others. But we will see how it works out. But this is this is good for me because it now means I can train my Cameron for my King of the Ring. I can chain, train my Rock. And obviously, I'm training the... Bret Hart's in the process. Now I've lost a lot of games because I was training up the single rocks, the single Dean Ambrose's and he's nearly done the single Cameron's and it was just lose, lose, lose. And even now trying to train both of these Bret Hart's and Cameron, I'm losing more matches than I'm winning. But I'm not worried. So win to loss ratio doesn't do anything. Um, it's just it's just there for the sake of it. It doesn't change the game at all. Now let's come into PCC. Team PCC, what I've noticed, my tip, there might be someone in the forums telling you about this, but what I've noticed is that you can kind of tell the rank of your opponent just by looking at the badge. Now, if you look at our badge, it's got a gold background and a gold, um, should we say, border to it. Now, if we come all the way back to exhibition, just to show you quickly and click on the ranks here, you've got super rare, which is like a blue, dark blue, ultra, which is a purple, epic, which is like orangey, legendary which is goldy yellowy and then survivor is kind of like a beigey kind of color now it seems to be that the survivor tiers in the team pcc are red backgrounds and the reason why i think they're red is because um because like a lot of the survivor cards in the past have had red backgrounds and i think if they went for this kind of rather beigey kind of color it would look very similar to the legendary and to the epic so i think what they've done is they've changed that to red then their their borders are red like the blue kind of color i'm not sure about the top tier because i haven't seen any of those yet because my our team isn't good enough if we come to legendary our background was like the golden yellow which tells you that we're in legendary tier the border was also yellow so it means that we're tier one of legendary if it has a blue border you'll be tier two and if it has like a goldy orangey kind of border you'll be tier three now same with epic if it's got an orange background with an orange border you're tier one orange background with a blue border tier two and orange background with kind of like a goldeny border will be tier three of epic so you can tell what your overall deck of your opponent is from their badge now it doesn't mean that they're not going to beat you or you're definitely going to beat them etc because obviously if an opponent's top cards come out and you get your middle or weak cards then even a team two tiers below you could easily beat you but i'm going to just hopefully be able to show you here okay so if you look here plus one is an epic with a blue background which means epic tier two plus three is epic with the like yellowy background so that's tier three and at the bottom, the plus five is a same badge as mine, so that's legendary tier one. Now, I'm fine that we're struggling to win any games against people in the same tier of us, because I'm guessing we're at the very bottom of legendary tier um, and legendary tier one, because we don't have many survivor cards. Uh, we don't have, I think, any legendary pros except for my cards. You know, the best we have are tend to be epic pros. So we kind of struggle in those games and we actually do struggle against some of the top tiers of the epic but i'm going to show you why why you pick the epic people anyway over the over the legendary if you want to fight now here 
I know it's epic tier 3 so overall you can click this to speed it up overall their team is point for point weaker than our team so with a bit of luck with the cards we should win now somebody in our team has decided to put out um, some weaker cards a common and uncommon card to try and bring the overall value of our deck down however I wouldn't recommend that because you can still pick people and pick your opponents like a normal PCC uh, the plus one should generally be the easier ones uh, the plus threes will be hit and miss and obviously the plus fives will be difficult so we're not going to win any plus fives but as you can see here he had an epic pro which is a good card for their tier and here you go he's got a, a legendary pro so they've obviously pulled out a few good cards not a good diva which has helped us win this game but it, you know that there wasn't a, there wasn't a great deal of difference in our teams the difference pretty much was the diva there so I'd say put in your best cards anyway because if you've got 10 people in your team it's going to make so little difference um, you'd be better off to have two better cards still in your same tier and have a chance of winning if you get picked any of those cards say for example you've got a, a, a very very bad diva and it comes up you know you've lost that match if it's a diva tag you've lost if you get two diva games you know you're lost so that was showing you against an epic tier three now this is going to play we'll play fuji san dojo epic nice name and this is technically a team in our same tier and let's just see how easy this is now I'm expecting it to be difficult in fact I know we're gonna lose but we can have faith we can have faith so let's see power right now I don't have any good cards here really you know by good cards I mean I need some epic survivors something so I'm gonna pretty much lose this so first is a case of two epic pro, epic pro versus epic pro get a better cards boost they win okay diva tag and as you can see here um, they don't have great divas but we didn't get any of our good divas so we lose and a solo match we've lost anyway okay so this team has played out some kind of weakish divas because only solo epics I think they were and the males they've had a couple of epic pros so we lost that so to have won that match we'd have needed to, to have got out our um, our top cards so let me see if I can show again this is where you obviously refresh now if you see here all three of these are the same badge so what you can assume is that the plus one is the lower end of the epic tier one while the plus five is going to be the higher end of the epic tier one so we will come back come back in as you see here again now we've got orangey backgrounds with the gold borders meaning that they're epic and they're tier three so i'm going to try and play the plus three because once again hopefully overall our deck should be better now this is a tactic i'd recommend to any of you guys looking don't just randomly pick plus ones plus fives plus threes because you're then going to wonder why you're losing nine out of ten you have to pick your opponents now here uh, we can use the toughness charisma boost to deck but unfortunately I think I'm going to just throw this match away because I probably could have won it actually with the Roman Reigns but I want to keep that in case there was a tag um, now I'll use it for the charisma uh, I'm not too sure you know what I want to see here this isn't bad because it's at least not incompatible but unfortunately they've got a legendary Nicky Bella so we're going to lose but as you can see there there wasn't too much difference between the two teams it all went down to that one diva in the end possibly I could have played my first cards differently um, I don't know if I would have still beaten Bray Wyatt though on the second game with my with the Stardust or anything but you get the idea that was still a bit closer here we go uh, we'll play Turkey Turkey again and same thing again hopefully we'll have a few better cards pulled out this time which should give us the win if we don't then we have to rely on them not getting their best cards pulled out and here we go so toughness and speed um, 
I'm gonna go with the compatible tag. Hopefully we get a proc or something there, but we should still win it. And the tag, so we're not we're not gonna waste a boost here. As you can see, this cards are pretty similar. Just unfortunately, we've got a, like a solo epic, not a pro. Now, when it comes to the last match, I've got my John Cena, which should be good enough to win, and we win. So we win two one. And that was from picking an epic tier 3 opponent. So don't get me wrong, sometimes this can be very, 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 very um, mun mundane. Because you just sit there, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Looking for this, because you, you know pretty much you're going to lose those. Um, you will get more of the epic people from myself, ex for example, in the plus ones than you will in the plus plus threes so sometimes it can take quite a while but here you've got an epic tier two is your plus one epic tier three is your plus three so as long as you're in in the ranked above them it's best to take the risk go for those plus threes if you're struggling do it with the plus ones but just make sure you're either in your own tier or the tier blade don't go playing for example here if you're in legendary people with the gold background but the blue um, outlining because it means they're going to be a tier above you which means overall their cards are going to be better and it's going to be a lot harder for you to win your games so anyway, that's been my time that's been my PCC tip good luck for you guys if you are going to grind and try and get rewards for myself probably not going to do too much grinding this because we as a team are not going to get high enough to get the kind of rewards that are useful for me I'm just going to play it for a bit to help out and we will see what happens with team PCC in the future but good luck on your quest Hope this has been useful. If it has, please let me know. And any other tips I can find out in this game, I'll keep you posted. Best of luck.